Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Now in this video, what we will try to see is before proceeding into this angular animations and all those things. So we will see how we can add the styles in a different ways. So now in angular, we can add the CSS styles in many different ways. So one is application wide styles. So that means if you want the CSS styles to be applied to the application wide, that means to the whole application, if you want to make the styles to be applied, then we can I uh, we, then we can add it in application wide in it in a different ways. First, I will try to show you. So here we are having something like let's say that I am opening the app component.html and here at the top I will add one div and here let's say that I am having an h1. Okay, and here we can write something like Leela Web Dev. So this is our channel name, right? So I am adding here the channel name, and if I try to refresh this page, you will be able to see the Leela Web Dev at the top. So why it is not running whether it is uh, yeah we are running it right now maybe it is taking some time to compile so now it has been compiled let's go here and we are able to see lila webdo has been added now if i want to add some styles to this one to this h1 if i want to add it so one way we can add this one is in the index.html so this is the root file for the html right so you can add in a traditional old way, old way like style you can use the style tag and you can take the h1 and you can write it as something like color red and here we can use a border one pixel solid blue or anything okay now if you go here and if i open and if i refresh this page you'll be able to see the font the color the font color is in red and also the border is in the blue color fine so this is one way applying the application right wherever you are using the h1 tag in in the components in any component this one will be applied globally application wide now if you want to add the css styles and all those things like this it will be going on it will become very much bigger so for this one it is better if you add it in an external file so external file means so you can create one external file in the assets so here in the source you will be able to have the assets and you can create one css file and you can use here path to the say like link and you can use the path to that one other than that, you can also have in angular.json, you will be able to see the styles.css file. So this is our global file. Whatever the things you want to write the CSS globally, you can add global styles to this file. And also you can import other styles also. So if you want to add global styles here, you can use this one. So for example, let's say that I have removed this one, right? And I can copy here. Instead of red, I will give the green. Instead of blue, I will give yellow. So here I have removed there and I have applied here globally. Now this is another way. Now here we are not writing anything in the index.html and only in the styles.css we are trying to write it. And here if you see the output. So here if you try to see the output then also we are able to see. It. So these are the different ways how we can add the CSS, uh, CSS in the application. Now okay fine. So we understood here. Now what we need to do, so for example, if I want to add a CSS framework or anything like bootstrap, tailwind or anything, if I want to add it, how I can do? Let's take the bootstrap, which is a common thing. So if you try to take the bootstrap here, I am using the bootstrap, I am opening it. Now one way is you can go to the docs and you can download the file. So wherever you want it or otherwise here only we are able to see it, right? So you can download it here and you can paste it to the copy in the assets folder and you can give the path one way okay and another one is so you can have this one so here you will be able to see the cdn file right so you here you will be able to see the cdn file or otherwise in the in the link itself you will be able to see i don't know where this one the docs we will try to see it here download somewhere you'll be able to see yeah here here we are able to see the css which is a cdn file you can copy this one and you can paste it directly and i'm moving this h1 and all those things oh, sorry let's copy this one yeah and here you can directly paste this in the index.html so here i am trying to paste this one so now i am able to apply it now if you try to see here if i refresh this page so the fonts has been changed here if you try to observe the fonts has been changed so in order to know that whether bootstrap has been applied or not let's go to the app component.html and here I will add a simple button okay add button and I will apply a class of btn btn hyphen success anything so I am adding a button like this so now here if I try to add btn btn hyphen success 
Now, if you try to see here, you will be able to see the green color button which is coming from the bootstrap. So, now the bootstrap has been successfully applied to this one. Now, now, the, now the next one what I want to tell you is the, now we have applied the boots, uh, button thing. Now, what I want to do is, <coughs> so we have applied this one, right? Now, what I want to do this one is, fine. So, this is one way of using the uh, here downloading and all those things. The another way of doing this one is, so we can also install the bootstrap or any CSS frameworks or any libraries using the NPM. So, NPM is the common thing which we will be using there in the recent days like that. So, now here for, for every application if you want to install means we will be using the NPM. Here you can use the command NPM install bootstrap. Okay. And here it will take some time and it will install the bootstrap here. So, let it install. Okay, here the npm install bootstrap, the bootstrap has been successfully installed. If you try to see here in the package.json file, here we will be able to see somewhere here bootstrap will be installed. Where is this bootstrap? Yeah, here bootstrap 5.3.0 it has been installed. And if you want to check here in the node modules, if you try to open the node modules, here if you go to the bootstrap. So, these are all the dependencies. And in this bootstrap, you will be able to see the dist folder and in this dist folder CSS and here you will be able to see the bootstrap.min.css. So, directly you can use this one here in the path in the index.html, directly link and all those things you can use it. I will show you the another way. You can go to the angular.json and here this, this is the styles.css right on the, under the build and here you can add it at the top so that it will override. So, bootstrap will be taken as a priority and if you want to override any bootstrap styles means you can write it in the styles.css now here you can write it something like node modules okay in the bootstrap you will be having the dist in the css so we it will be available in the bootstrap.min.css so this is the path you will be having you can need to keep the comma and after installing this one so for the sake so you can compile recompile it again so that it will try to read again from the angular.json file now if you see here it will take some time to install let it uh, let it run now it has been successfully ran now if you try to see here if i refresh this page now again the bootstrap we are able to see it now where the bootstrap is actually added is if you try to go to the console and here you will be having the styles.css so in the here in the head you will be able to see the styles.css if i try to open it here uh, open a new tab and here in this one you will be able to see all the bootstrap styles that has been added. So this is how we will be adding the CSS framework using the NPM. So whenever you are having any CSS package under anything and if you want to add it globally, so you can add it directly in the angular.json file so, so that it will be generated. So this is how we will be adding the CSS in the angular application global wide. Hope you understood about this one. So what I will try to do is I will commit this code in a new branch with a create new branch video hyphen four where maybe having a doubts or anything. So here you can check it application wide styles. Now I am committing this code. Let's save all and commit it. And whoever may be having doubts and all those things, if you want to refer the code, you already know I, the link will be provided in the description below. So angular animations. So this is the project which we are having and here I will be committing the code who are maybe having a doubt in a particular video means they can go to that particular video branch and they can check the code. Now here I have so I have committed it right. Let's publish this branch. Oh, so I am not committed it. Styles global and I will stage these all things and commit it and publish this branch. Yeah. Now, hopefully this one is published. If I try to refresh this page, you will be able to see a new branch that has been pushed it. So, still it isn't pushed, still it is uh, pushing I think, uh, why this one is taking this, that much of time. Still it is publishing, publishing, it is trying to publish. It is working hard to publish, yeah, Visual Studio. So now video 4 has been successfully pushed to this one. So whoever may be having errors, they can they can check this GitHub thing. The link is provided in the description below for every video. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.